It's a weird thing. You go into comedy and uh, not that I intended to. It was just it was the first job I got out of drama school, really, was this good comedy that turned out to be the in-betweeners. Because yeah. we've seen you in so many comedies and kind of, you know, yeah. out there things. D- did getting this kind of feel sweeter for you? Because you've got to think, they're taking me seriously. Finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally, after all these years, they're taking me seriously. Well, you know, I, I'd done a couple of dramas uh, previously. Like I did um, A Very English Scandal and um, uh, Prime Suspect 1973. But um, it was something about this did feel very, very special. Because even with an Eng- A Very English Scandal, there was comedy within yeah. the role uh, and so whereas with this one it feels like even though Stan can bring some lightheartedness to it it is very much a drama and a dramatic role so yeah it, it did feel sweeter because it's something that I think I've been trying to do for a very long time it's a weird thing you go into comedy and uh, not that I intended to it was just it was the first job I got out of drama school really was this good comedy that turned out to be the in-betweeners yeah. and uh, so that was then, your first gig well my, my first gig was an unpaid pub theatre gig and uh good man was, good man yeah, yourself <laughs> good man yeah uh, i remember doing some dramatic scenes and uh, next door they were showing the champions league so you'd be in the middle of this emotional <laughs> cathartic moment and all of a sudden you'd hear because <laughs> arsenal or united had scored or something but uh but yeah but the first kind of job after that was was the in between us and I, I didn't have an agent it was on an open call on spotlight and it, there was just me and about 13 other lads from my drama school on top of probably a hundred other people that you know could all play 16 even though we were older yeah. and uh and it just it was like one of those like the old i can't think of, like, was it like 42nd street movies at the way you know you you didn't quite have the number on your shirt but it felt like that it was like come back in the afternoon come back in a day come back in two days come back. and there was so many auditions and then it got to me and the other three lads going in with a couple of other people and they made it what it was and uh and, but, and so, then and then it was like joining the bank because you were doing that for Years, but by the time you did all the series and the movies and everything, what I mean, how long was it altogether? Uh, well, all to, well, it, it's a weird thing because we did three series and then the first movie all within like years of the last one, yeah, uh, and uh, or a year of the last one, I should say, and then the second film was probably about a two or three year gap. Um, so and the funny thing was, was that it were I think I started it when I just turned 22. And uh, I was probably, what, like uh, five years older than the character. But by the end of the series, we had all aged about eight years and the characters had only aged about 18 months. (laughs) So (laughs) so we were considerably older by the second movie than what we should have been to play those roles. But... um, but yeah, obviously doing something like that, people start to go, oh, well, that's what you do. Yeah. You play dumb guys in a comedy. And so there's had to be a lot of moments where I've had to turn stuff down and say no to things because it was just keeping that going and kind of putting the nails in the coffin of that is your career. And yeah. uh, then you finally get opportunities to do things like like World on Fire and you go into the audition and there you do put pressure on yourself going, this would make such a difference for me. I would love to showcase yeah. that I can do this. And uh, and then it happened. So, yeah. And then obviously when we got the call that the second series was happening and they wanted, they didn't have to get me back. Like my character in series one was, you know, there half the time and not. And, you know, thankfully obviously didn't die, but, it, you know, they didn't, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to get me back. Yeah. And when they said they were, I was over the moon. Yeah. I know it must be so, like you said, it must be so sweet, uh, you know, because that success of Inbetweeners could have kind of, uh, kind of fixed you for life as that yeah. guy. And I think it could have been easy to, to do that and earn a nice wage doing that and had yeah. a, a happy little career. But for me, that wasn't what excited me. You know, I come from doing you know, theatre and drama schools and all that kind of stuff where you're playing different characters all the time and that's what you enjoy. You enjoy going, oh, this is different yeah. to what i played before and you work out how to do it and that is what excites you me. Went to, you went to East 15, didn't you? I did, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. a super serious drama school. Yeah, I think the, the, the reputation of it being this super... Like, there was a rumour that... Um, I'm, I hope I'm allowed to say it, uh, uh, That you all ran around naked in the woods within yes, your first I, I week. I've heard that rumour. It's that not You get, you get lost true. in the woods. You, yeah, all get, yeah, you have to eat each other. That yeah, kind of thing. yeah, it's not true. They do these kind of... Um, um, crazy like uh, week long improvisation type things where you're as soon as you walk into the school for that moment you're, you're in character and you do different kind of 
traumatic moment through history, really, that you're kind of supposed to be living through for this this week, and you're kind of improvising it all, and it's re- very much supposed to be kind of the, the the method acting thing and being in character for hours on end and stuff. You, you, you do all that, which is it's beneficial and it's it's great. But I think the, the I still want re- the man in the van with the smoothies and the coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. That is lovely. But the reputation is not quite what it actually is. But it's still a great school. 